Hey, what's up, guys? Gold Izzy here. Welcome to another edition of Wrestling With. And this week's episode is going to be a follow up to my last Wrestling With video. The last video I did was all about wrestling with masks. And I showcased a lot of different wrestlers who wore a mask uh, throughout their career or at some point in their career. Well, this is the follow up wrestling with face paint. So wrestlers not only wear masks to cover their face, but they also mask their face with face paint. So I'm going to discuss a few of those wrestlers, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, if I left out anybody that you may know about, just let me know in the comments below. But uh, let's get started. There have been a lot of awesome wrestlers throughout the years who have more face paint. You don't see wrestlers nowadays wearing face paint that often, with the exception of a few wrestlers, who I would definitely discuss in a few moments. But over the years, we have seen a lot of wrestlers wear face paint, especially in the 80s and the 90s. The wrestlers that I loved the most that wore face paint were the wrestlers that always changed up the design. You never saw them wear the same design twice. Sting from his surfer gimmick days back in the early 90s, he always had a different design on his face. He didn't always wear the same design. Unlike his crow gimmick, where he always wore the same design throughout the entire stint of the crow gimmick. The great Muda is another wrestler from Japan who always had a different theme on his face, a different design, so to speak. And uh, it was really great to see him in the ring. In fact, Great Muda and Sting had a really great rivalry at one point in their career. A recent wrestler to wear face paint, Jeff Hardy, he also wears different designs on his face with a face paint. He never really wears the same design twice. The Road Warriors, back in their early days of wrestling, always had a different style of face paint. Uh, throughout their time in wrestling. It wasn't until the WWF days where they wore the exact same design each week when they were wrestling. The Ultimate Warrior, of course, he is another example of a wrestler who wore face paint but always had different designs. And uh, he had some awesome designs. Uh, sometimes he would even paint the design on his chest. It just made for more awesome experience for the fans and just gave them an overall better appearance more of an intimidation factor if you will of course there have been wrestlers who just didn't really have the greatest face paint in the world there was a wrestler named knuckleball uh, he had a baseball gimmick and he had a baseball painted on his whole face the guy who played knuckleball was named steve lombardi he also went by the brooklyn brawler he was your premier jobber uh, yeah, his knuckleball gimmick was kind of corny, but nonetheless, he still wore face paint. Dwight the Clown was another wrestler who wore face paint. I'm not a fan of clowns. The gimmick was kind of funny at times, but it got really stale really quick. The Shark from WCW. The Shark was also known as Earthquake. Uh, he went to WCW, became the Shark, and wore face paint on his cheeks because he had a full beard, so the only place you could actually put face paint was on his cheeks of, uh, of shark teeth. <laughs> really, really dumb. Uh, if you guys don't know anything about the shark, don't worry, you're not missing out on a single thing. Another wrestler, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Ed Leslie to be in fact, went by the Zodiac when he went to WCW. He also went by the Booty Man. If you saw my Wrestling With Gimmick video, then you'll know all about that. But when he was a Zodiac, he had face paint. That character did not last long whatsoever. There's also a wrestler. I don't know if many of you guys are familiar with this guy, but he was called The Missing Link. I found a picture of him on the internet, and I thought it'd be cool to mention him. So here he is, The Missing Link. The Boogeyman, another wrestler to wear face paint within the last five years or so. He had a really cool gimmick. The face paint was actually really cool looking. I don't know if you ever took the time to look at his face paint design but it was really detailed and really awesome. The gimmick was kind of cool at first but then it just got kind of uh, kind of ridiculous. The boogeyman, face paint, for sure. 
Demolition from the old school WWF. A great tag team. Axe, Smash, and Crush. They definitely wore face paint. Their face paint definitely made them look more badass. Just like the Road Warriors. Uh, their face paint, of course, is legendary. Goldust. <laughs> Another wrestler to wear face paint. Without the face paint, I don't think the Goldust character would have worked as well as it did. When he first came out back in, I believe, 1995 or 96 in WWF, he had probably one of the most unique gimmicks of all time. It worked very well. He had the whole gold jumpsuit going for him. He had the blonde wig that he wore out to the ring. He had more Lana. He had the gold face paint with the black eyeliner. It was ridiculous and cool all at the same time, but Goldust definitely had some awesome face paint. Kamala, another old school wrestler, the Ugandan giant. He had some great face paint as well. He had face paint on his face. Of course, he also had paint on his uh, chest and stomach as well. Papa Shango, another wrestler who went by many, many different names. Papa Shango, that whole gimmick was very cool when it first came out. Although, he never really went anywhere with it. He was feuding with the Ultimate Warrior, another painted face wrestler, but the Papa Shango gimmick never really took off the way the WWF was hoping it would. Tatanka, another wrestler who wore face paint. He wore war paint to be in fact. Umaga, another wrestler who just recently passed a year or so ago, is a wrestler who wore face paint. Very devastating big man in the ring. Uh, he, his career was cut short, of course, but he made a big impact in the ring. A great wrestler, uh, some awesome face paint, made him look very sinister in the ring, and uh, he's definitely missed. A wrestler from TNA who, actually, I haven't seen on TNA, I don't think at all, but he is currently on their roster list on their website, Kiyoshi wears face paint. And he's still on the, the roster list for TNA, but yet I don't think I've ever seen him wrestle. But he's another one to add to the list, that's for sure. Well, that's it for now. That's the wrestling with face paint. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, if I missed out on a few of the wrestlers who wore face paint, just let me know in the comments below. I'm sure I didn't touch on everybody. I just wanted to touch on a few of the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Gold Dizzy. Peace out.